Hey, what's up guys? Mike Redfox. In this video, we're going to build one of these. Disclaimer, before we get started, I am not a licensed electrician, so everything that you see in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Let's go over what components are going to be used in this build. So the main one, of course, is the box. This is going to house the meter and the 30 amp plug, and it's all going to fit in here. And this is from the meter box. You can check them out, themeterbox.com, and they actually have a Kickstarter going right now as of making this video. And while this is not a unique design, right, you guys have probably seen these before, the problem that the meter box is aiming to solve is mass production. Because typically to get one of these, the lead times are very long because it's somebody with their 3D printer making them and shipping them out. They want to mass produce these so it's not weeks and months, but maybe only days in order for you to order one and get it into your mining location. So check these guys out, themeterbox.com. Along with that, I have the meter that we'll be using. I have our L630 plug for 30 amps. And then in this case, I want this to be portable. You can absolutely hardwire this, but what you see here is you see I'm gonna be using this cable that ends in an L630 plug. So I'm gonna be able to take this meter wherever I want, plug it into an existing 30 amp circuit and measure any of my rigs that I want at the wall with this box. You can definitely hardwire it right into your panel, but that's what I'm choosing to do in this video. I'll have links in the description to everything that I'm using here and yeah, I think that's it. Let's get into building this meter. Okay, so I think the first thing that we're gonna do is get this meter installed into the front plate here. So actually, I'm gonna go this way. And this should snap right into place because it's built specifically for this meter. So, yep, there it is. Perfect fit. Snaps right into place. Looking really good. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside for now. And the next thing I'm going to do is route this wire, this cable into the box so I can start wiring up the outlet itself. So this has got a nice hole right there. It's the right size for this application. All right, I think that should be pretty good. So next thing I'm going to do is start wiring up our plug here. So you can see... In this case, we have two hots and a ground. Both the black and the white are going to be hot, and then the ground is going to be the green. So I'm just going to twist these up, and I'm going to start getting the ground installed into the, into the outlet here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, one of the things I like to do is just good practice. Give it a little wiggle back and forth, because it will loosen up, and you'll have to tighten it down again because you want these connections to be really secure, especially for the amount of wattage that we're going to be putting through them. Okay, that seems really good. Now, for the other two, we have to do something a little bit special, and I'll show you in a second. Now we're going to take one of our hots. I'm going to use the black, and I'm going to get seated down in here. And what I'm going to do is take one of these leads I, I made already ahead of time, uh, and this is 10-2 from 10-2 Romex, and I'm gonna get that seated down in there and tighten this down. And these leads, I'm gonna have two of them coming out of the plug, they're gonna go into that meter. Okay, just giving it some wiggles. Make sure it's nice and tight, not going anywhere. Okay, should be good. Now, one of the things I have to do is for this one, the white, it doesn't matter. You can choose either hot, but I'm going to choose the white and I'm going to get this, which is going to read the wattage looped around there. And I'm going to get that along with the white lead that I created ahead of time, both put in here. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And I think what I'm going to do next just to give myself a little bit of a platform to work from is I'm going to get the actual outlet installed in here. And to do that, I'm going to use these screws. 
along with a nut that's going to go in the back. Okay, now our last step for what we're working on now is to get both of these leads connected over to this part of the meter. So I'm just going to loosen up these. And I'm going to get these connected. All right, and that's what it looks like inside now that it's completed. So you can see coming from the wire, I have that going to the 30 amp plug here. You got your ground, your two hots. I have two leads coming off of that outlet and they're both going to the meter itself. And then this is uh, looped around one of the hots coming from the actual cable that will go to the wall in order to read how much wattage is coming through it. So now we just got to put it inside this box and screw it all together. Okay, and that's it. That's the completed build for the meter box. So let's get this plugged in to a rig and we're going to test it out. Okay, there it is. All done. All complete. Check it out. Looks really, really good. So it's going over to my 30 amp receptacle that I have on the wall there. And then this is going to my PDU, which has a few rigs on it right now. And you can see we're pulling 1,740 watts at the wall. So really successful build. Big thanks to the team over at the Meter Box for sending this over to me and sponsoring this video. Let me do a really cool build on this. Really appreciate it. Go check them out, themeterbox.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat. The link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next video.